स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ एट क्लास लेट अस कंटिन्यू विद फिफ्थ चैप्टर ट्रेडस्ट रूलर एंड इन द पार्ट सिक्स वी विल शेल कंटिन्यू विद द चैप्टर एंड द सब टाइटल ऑफ दिस चैप्टर इज एंग्लो माइसूर वॉर सो फर्स्ट वी स्टडीड अबाउट हाउ द ब्रिटिश कंट्रोल द बेंगाल प्रोविंस in this we shall see how british could control the empire or a small king uh, empire that is uh, mysore in the map so this was ruled by this was ruled by hyderali and tipu sultan and they gave a fight to the britishers they continued became a big threat for the britishers so british had to join with the marathas and nizams these are the nizam area and this is the marathas they total they fought britishers fought four battles against mysore that is against the ruler of hyder Hyder Ali and Tipu Sultan. Tipu Sultan is the son of Hyder Ali. So, British had to defeat Tipu Sultan and Hyder Ali by making alliance with the Marathas and and the Nizams. You see, the Indian rulers themselves became enemy of each other, and the advantage were taken by the Britishers. So, let us. Read one by one the four Anglo-Mysore War. So the first Anglo-Mysore War fought between Hyder Ali and the lines of the British, that is Marathas and Nizams. So, but in seventeen sixty nine, British were forced to sign peace treaty, according to which both Hyder and the British agreed to help each other. But Hyder Ali was attacked by the Marathas. Hyder Ali was attacked by the Marathas, and the British did not help them. According about treaty, the British were supposed to help. They had agreed to help Maratha, uh, sorry, Mysore, but the British did not help. So, contrary to this, British signed treaty with Marathas and Nizam. by that time hyder ali died in 1788 82 tipu sultan became the ruler of mysore then he continued the war against the britishers but tipu signed a treaty with the english in the second anglo mysore war and this is known as a treaty of mangro then there was third anglo mysore war that is again the british the nizam and the marathas they were one side and tipu was completely defeated by these three joint powers and tipu signed a treaty of sering patanum it this was a treaty signed between the britishers then there was fourth anglo mysore war there was new governor general welsley and he wanted tipu sultan to accept subsidiary alliance but in 1979 the british went to war against tipu the zam joined the british but the marathas remained neutral and the french support never came and tipu was killed in the battle tipu fought bravely and died defeating defending his capital seringapatnam the british and her ally the nizam of hyderabad shared between themselves half of mysore's territory so it took British four wars over a period of thirty years. Then only Mysore they could control the Mysore. Okay, students. Then in the next part we shall study the Anglo-Maratha War and further the Anglo-Sikh War, Anglo-Sikh relations or the Anglo-Sikh War. Let us say. Okay, after Maharaj Singh, they had to fight, and 
द ब्रिटिश एक्सपेंशन अंडर लॉर्ड लोजी वी शेल स्टडी इन द नेक्स्ट पार्ट ओके थैंक यू